Hi everyone, happy Saturday. So if I look like I'm looking weird a little bit, uh, this is the first time I've done it for my computer, so I just wanted to be able to, um, to see any comments, if people have any comments. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at totalgenius.net. Today we're gonna talk about the client attraction strategy that probably you haven't heard about. I call it the feel-good client attraction strategy, and it will lead you to your next client if you really take it and own it. So uh, if you find any value in this, I'd appreciate it if you'd share this with anyone or invite them when you get on the broadcast. So today, we're going to talk about your clients and your client attraction strategy, because I know that Everyone's teaching you to be everywhere, to do your social media, to, to build out all your funnels and build your list. And this has been taught for so many years that it's just become the common practice. And in actuality, it does work. But it's not the only way to make your business work. So my clients have a lot of expertise and they have a, a signature program and so if you have a similar business and you are person a person who really wants to get out there and help people has a background and talent in what it is that you're doing then you have to actually uh, claim your own path on of client attraction and so I'm going to teach you the path that I learned from my mentors and uh, that it's really just been um, based off of the person that I am working with high-end businesses for over 25 years and uh, high-end brands and really what I learned from my mentor who has a um, dog food company he uh, works with dogs with disease, allergies, and cancer, and he has a well-known dog uh, rescue. He goes to China and rescues dogs, so you may have heard of the Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation. So he actually taught me this strategy, um, not by actually teaching to me, but by being it. And I remember the first time uh, I, I met him, and many times after, um, we just became friends. And I remember leaving there one day, the store in Sherman Oaks called the Petstron. I remember thinking, that's what I want. That's exactly the business that I want. This was before I started my business. And lo and behold, it actually became my business. So I'm going to teach you that strategy today because if everything else is not working for you, which I see that it's not working for many people, this strategy may work for you, but it's really about focusing on not high-end clients, not a ton of clients, and not the get clients mindset. We're talking client attraction, but this is about, uh, I'd like to call it the strategy of high integrity. So the reality is, is this is about quality clients over quantity. And this does not mean sacrificing your income. In fact, focusing on quality clients, and I'm going to show you how, how this is, there's proof of this, can actually lead to a higher profit generation than maybe what you're making now. So I'm going to, teach, I'm going to tell you why, first of all, you want to focus on quality clients. Number one, I don't know about you, but this is not um, a build it and then run sort of business for me. I was born with a life on purpose to help people. I worked over 25 years as a high-end shopping center and retail marketing director. I have done business and marketing all my life. And so it would only be natural that this would be the business that I would have long-term. So I'm not planning on building it, automating it, and then running. It's a I, I am building a brand that is timeless. I invest a lot of time in it, and I don't even consider it really investing time because I just do what I love 24-7. It's just, uh, I don't have to take weekends off or 
it's what I really want to be doing. In fact, when I when I try to take time off, I find myself wanting to go and get back to work. So it's because this is the the the, the strategy we're going to talk about today and focusing on quality clients is about building a timeless brand, a long term growth strategy that is not in anything but the get clients mindset. The get clients mindset and the quantity over quality means that you're just basically like rotating people in and out. And how that usually is done and how I've seen it taught is by offering low value items um, and then uh, funneling people down to the bottom of your funnel. Now funnels work, so I'm not I'm not going to dismiss that, but uh, but but I'm going to tell you why this is really bad. But let's just get back to why we want quality clients. Number two is um, you built you're building a reputation. So every time you get a client that isn't your best business friend, and they may not get your true value, and so you actually build a, a kind of bad reputation. Somebody leaves, maybe they're not disgruntled, but maybe they didn't get what they were looking for. I've had many of those clients that uh, come to me because they spent so much money trying to make money and no, nothing was really working for them. So this is about focusing on your long-term brand reputation. Third, and I think this should be really the most important thing, but you become what you surround yourself with. So that's not just on social media or when you go to a networking event. That includes who you're working with. And so if you're working with someone who doesn't own their value, who isn't understanding what you're, um, what you're speaking about, because maybe you, uh, it just, it's like you're talking a different language. If you're, attra if you're talking to someone who doesn't get you, um, it just, it creates a, a sort of a wall. And so you become that though. If you silently absorb how they're being and this whole get client mindset, you, you start to attract more of that. And what ends up happening, and it's just kind of a, a silent thing that happens within you, is that you lose your self-confidence. Now you may not actually realize it, but if you have, um, you have worked with a lot of people who don't own their value you kind of tend to pick that up and it I'm just gonna raise my hand because it's happened to me <laughs> and it is very hard to dig your way out of it because now you're surrounded by people who don't own their value and then it's very hard to attract the high quality clients and fourth is that you know, quality clients, they know, they recognize quality. So if you have a lot of expertise, you have a lot of talent in what you do, then you are uh, a high value person. And so somebody of high value will recognize that and want to, uh, and want to work with you and want to pay for that. So I hear people talk about, you know, the high end clients, the high ticket selling and all of that. And I think that just dumbs down the value of your clients because the truth is they're not just a bank account. They're not just a wad of cash that needs to pay you money. They're actually people. And so when you focus on quality clients, your reticular activating system, the thing that you naturally have is actually silently searching for quality. This means that you attract quality and you create what I call the energy of success. It's like this high vibe, not high vibe, but it's like a good vibe energy, feel good. So this strategy of client attraction is called the strategy of high integrity. So this is something that, again, my mentor taught me and um, you know, it, it really just leads you to your next client. Because what it is, is that you attract a high quality person. You have a high quality, high value signature program. That means something that is transformational. You hear all the things about, you know, sell a $17 item, sell a $9 item, get as many people as you can in your funnel, and then you can slowly weed them down. 
Well, that for for high value people sometimes doesn't work because what you end up doing is att is attracting what I was talking about number three. A lot of people who don't understand their value that just want a cheap fix. So this may be like if you have an audience that isn't buying, um, doesn't want to doesn't want to pay money, and they just want to learn from free. That's often something that people tell me they're struggling with. And the reality is, and the truth is, it's because you're giving a lot of stuff away for free, and you're not uh, you're not charging or selling the high ticket thing that you actually do and sell. And much of that comes from lack of clarity, that you actually don't know what your positioning is. The one thing that is different than everybody else who teaches in your category and so you fall into the low value zone and you're attracting people who don't want to pay money so uh, it just ends up being a uh, kind of like a, a, an endless pursuit of people that, that won't pay you money or won't just want to pay you a low amount and they're not looking for trans transformation this actually happened to one of my clients who after we worked together in one month got two high-end clients, high quality, and then they bought her signature program, and then uh, she had taken some time off and then started to do the low value option because she didn't, she kind of uh, lost her focus. And uh, she was doing a ton, of, a ton of webinars, a ton of Facebook ads, a ton of different things, and nobody wanted to pay her for her high, um, high quality program. What ended up happening is she just ended up wasting a lot of time, not making a lot of money, and doing a lot of work. And she just recently, uh, I think it was like a week ago, told me she was she was ready to switch back to the high quality, high integrity um, thing that we developed. And woohoo! Today she's got a high quality client to buy her signature program. That was a week ago that she decided that. So I always say, you know, it's simple. It's simple to understand the strategy, but it's not necessarily easy because what ends up happening is you become your surrounding. And if you are spending a lot of time on Facebook or you are taking a program or have learned from people who are teaching the low value approach instead of the high integrity, then you, um, then you just start doing that and thinking that that's the answer. But there's more to this high integrity approach. So you not only sell a high value program, you focus on a high quality client. And I always just say focus on one because it's just one person and they're paying you enough money that you don't need to get like tons of get, get clients. And then you add so much value to them, even when they're done working with you, I still, I still give advice uh, to my past clients. I mean, to my clients from like years ago. You know why? Because it's just the type of person I am, number one. Number two, they matter to me because they invested in me, I invest in them. And that's the strategy of high integrity. When you care so much about the people you work with, you care so much about the business you're building, and you care so much about your high value, you give more. And because of it, they refer people to you. They sing your praises. And the silent thing is, is that they raise your self-confidence. Because to you, they tell you that you're gold. And if you're working with high quality people, they help you. You learn from them. Because now they're becoming experts at what they were an expert at when they hired you. And it just, it, it's like this endless cycle. They lead you to your next client. I mean, I can't tell you what a difference going for this strategy is over the get client mindset that takes away the craziness of what everybody else is teaching. So it's not the only way and the get clients mindset does work. And doing all those low value things does work. But I don't know, to me, to somebody like, for me, I, I, I personally, Every time that I have tried to do that, because don't get me wrong, you know, I, I see that it's working for other people and I fall into the same trap and it, it has never worked for me.
It just isn't the person that I am. And so if you're struggling to get clients or attract them, it could be that you're very much like me, that you know you really care about other people and then it just doesn't feel right to you. That's why I created the um, workbook called Conscious Selling because it's about owning your own consciousness and owning the work that you put out into the world. Because regardless even if you speak to people, you're touching people's lives with your presence. And uh, to me, that really matters. It matters that the, what the people learn from me and get from me. And I don't want to put anything bad out there that I don't believe in. So that's why I kind of stand out and I'm kind of different. And many people don't get me. But you know what? That's okay because my clients love me. Uh, and I think the strategy of integrity works just fine for, for us. Uh, and it may work for you uh, because one of my other clients just told me that she hasn't even finished building her business yet. We're still working on, on it. And she actually uh, got a client and a, a consultation, um, and she hasn't even launched her friggin' business yet. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We built her signature program. She mastered her positioning statement, and she just got a, a high-end client. And well, meanwhile, everybody on on Facebook or everywhere else seems to be struggling and trying to learn the next thing and do all these things and do their social media. I talked to someone the other day, and she's so she's so busy trying to do her social media that uh, she just feels stressed. So what ends up happening is that then they pull away from social media, which isn't the answer either. It's, it, it's not the way it is. It's just the understanding, of, the foundational understanding of what it is that, you know, I always say, if you have a destination, just go the straight line rather than trying to take all different routes. Because it turns out the straight line, number one, will get you there the fastest. Number two, there's less delays. Number three, you'll find it's the most scenic route you can take. Because you'll have a clear, the clarity in what you do, what your position is, who you speak to, and what you want to speak. And are there going to be bad days? Yes, but there's going to be bad days regardless. To me, that's just a business that works. That's called owning your expertise. When you own your expertise, you care. You care about the value you put into the world. You care about the people's lives that you touch. And you care about building a brand that's everlasting. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share with you. I'm not sure if I like doing this on computer. But um, uh, if you found value in this or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I'll check them later. And have a great uh, Saturday night, you guys.